All right, what we've got here is a mock-up of a roof. I'm going to show you today that the best solar roof there is. This kind of roof will power your entire house. You've got the plywood on the roof covered with Polystick TU Plus, and it's a peel and stick product similar to Ice and Water Shield. We've got grip edge on the bottom already, and then up the gable we run our main cable and kind of stapled it in place. Uh, this is a uh, metal shingle that uh, is used in South Florida. You'll see it a lot in the Keys. It withstands all kinds of weather, winds, hurricanes, lasts a long time. What we've done is we've taken this Y out of it and this dimension down here and made it flat. And the reason we made it flat is because we put unisolar solar film on it to make this, this type of roof a, a solar roof that will pr produce electricity for your house. On the ends and the uh, anywhere that uh, need to be cut. The, the problem with the uh, existing solar film for standing seam roofing, which is where this product is used now, is the uh, anywhere that the uh, solar part is not, or rather is, sticks out like a sore thumb. The rest of the roof is a different color. What we've done is anywhere that we can't use the solar or we don't need it because we don't need solar on the entire roof. Uh, it just because unless you want to produce electricity and sell it back to the power company. But anywhere you don't need it, we've got dummy shingles that have a film that looks exactly like it, but it does not have the, uh, you don't need the, the expense of the uh, silicone and all the, all the wiring and whatnot that goes into the, in the manufacture of the film that makes the film expensive. So anywhere that generally on a house, uh, here's I'm installing. I'll show you what we've got is we just quick connect these wires together, and they're wired in series or parallel rather as they go out to the end. The main cable takes it up. Now this next shingle starts here. Uh, we've got a cut in half. That way it lands in the center of this one. This is a dummy shingle again. This has no wiring in it. It's not uh, power produce any electricity for you, but it looks exactly alike. We come along here and they just clip into one another. There's a little slot it slides into. The wiring is underneath right here where there's no screws or anything. And there's a little void behind the shingle uh, made from the, uh, thickness, the thickness of the film. Uh, and that way the wires are safe. They don't get squashed. Everything is uh, watertight. Connect these last ones up here. Again, it connects to the main cable. The next starter shingle is again a dummy shingle. Then on the edge, we've got uh, a piece of gable trim that goes up the edge. Now as you see, you start to see a pattern develop with the silver lines in between the solar film. What can be done there is uh, that can be blue, black, or just left silver for a pattern. Uh, this gable trim is raised a little bit to hide the, uh, to, uh, to uh, keep the cable uh, safe from being squashed and uh, obviously out of the weather. The screws we use here are 5B screws. We have a rubber washer rod them with seals down. Underneath here would be a butyl tape. I didn't put it on just for this. Uh, but would also keep the water from going over to the edges. This, uh, this product on an average size house, about 40 square of roofing. You need about eight square of solar to power your, your house, to keep your house uh, completely powered. You have more of it, you sell the power back to the power company. And then the other parts, the dummy shingles, this all can be done for less than the cost of a tile roof. You've got to put a roof on your house anyway, why not make it pay your electric bill?